What's going on everyone? Gilman with Livolti Stocks back with another Palantir update video where we take a look at how Palantir stock traded this past week, key levels of support and resistance that we are looking at moving into the future and based on that what we think Palantir stock could do. So real quick if you enjoy videos like this don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on Palantir are and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let me go ahead and hit record and we'll get right into the video. So Palantir had itself a nice Friday to end the week up 55 cents, which is about 2.41%. Um, but let's take a look at how the overall week was for Palantir. And once this load, as we can see, right, nice push up throughout the course of the week. Um, we did dip a little and then um, bounced a little bit below our 2150 level. And now we are pushing up and kind of hitting up against that 2362 level. So let's take a look at the daily chart and we'll see what we see. So you guys remember a few months ago, we were taking a look at this bull pennant um, and trying to spot the breakout. We did get the breakout, took us from the mid 20s to the mid 30s, all the way to 45 with the little short squeeze from uh, Reddit, sold off, ran into earnings. Now three things happened there. As you guys know, earnings surprise loss. No one was expecting it. So when you get a loss, when no one's expecting it, stock's gonna fall. Lockup expiration, which means people and executives that had a bunch of shares could now sell their shares. So they sold some of their shares, they still held majority, that's the key thing there. And the overall market was pretty weak. That took us from trading in the mid to high 30s, all the way down to the uh, $20 mark. And another thing that I wanna point out here is we are looking at a bull pennant forming, you guys. That's something that we talked about last week. Um, and actually I said, hey, you know, we kind of broke this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move this down just a little bit. Um, I talked about, hey, I'm not gonna move it down until we see clear trend. We are starting to see that. So here we are. We could be forming another bull flag pennant, something that we've looked at for about a week or two now but we like that it's getting validated finally. So what do we have coming up from levels of support, levels of resistance, you guys? First things first, 2362 and then 2408. Pretty close levels to each other, but those are kind of the two levels that we're looking at on the upside. Reason being, if you take a look back here in early April, you see we were trading in between the 2280 and the 2362 range for a while there. Um, we've also you know, kind of gone up almost to that level in the past two days. Thursday, Friday, um, but not been able to break it. So that's something to watch out for. Then 2408, again, and then level after that is 2539. Um, but between that, what we have coming is this bull pennant top, right? Which if this holds, and again, we could be kind of dragging this out for a little bit longer. Um, we might get rejected here at the mid 24s, which would actually be a good sign uh, because it means the bull pen is still valid and we are looking for a breakout. On the other hand, if we continue out of this, um, then you know breakout potential could have already started. So keep, keep that. Uh, keep this mid 24s in mind you guys and keep these levels in mind support level perspective We got this 2280 right here as you can see again bounce 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 um, Seven or eight times in the past couple weeks We've bounced off of the 2280 level and then lastly 2150 which we've you know kind of bounced off three times this past week Monday Tuesday Wednesday um, And also a kind of late March we bounced off of those levels so what do we have coming up from EMA's perspective? We are finally above the 8 EMA, you guys. We are also above the 21 EMA, pushing up against the 34 EMA um, in the 23.87. So hopefully we see that getting captured sometime soon. Um, bull pennant potential is really, really exciting. As you can see, RSI is in the 49s. So a long way to go before we're even considered overbought. So we could see a little bit of a run coming. One thing that I wanna talk about here is this article. Talks a little bit about Palantir and how it's traded recently. So first things first, um, Palantir on April 5th got a five year, $90 million contract with the New National Nuclear Security Administration. We covered that here. Um, and then, you know, some options. We also talked about the $500,000 bet that it was gonna be higher. Um, anyway, so it talks a little bit about that. We just talked about kind of the eight EMA, 21 EMA. And what it really talks about here is the stock has a gap left behind at the $30 point. Um, and since gaps are filled about 90% of the time, it's a great chance that we will fill the overhead gap. What gap are we talking about here? Let me get rid of the EMA so it's easier to see. Um, we are talking about this gap down all the way over here. 
take a look here, the low, um, let me get rid of this for a sec, it'll be easier for us to see. The low here, the close was $31.91, open was $30 too, so 30 to 31, high 31s um, is a gap fill potential, so hopefully we see that. That's got you know a little while to go before we get that though. Um, the other thing that I wanna talk about is, as it talks about the gap, the other thing that we wanna talk about is, where is it? So th these are all kind of bullish bets that were placed on Palantir, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars. Um, so big bets being placed there. The other thing that it talks about is, where is it? Right here. Um, $21 is really, really good support, but below 21 is where it hits the $17 mark. And we have a triple bottom near the $21 mark, which is bullish. So a lot of bullish signs looking for Palantir, right? $21 triple bottom. Triple bottoms are always great because that tells you that it's a great, great level of support. Stock and establish a base and start to push up from there, which is what we're seeing here. So hopefully um, what I'm gonna do this week is I'm gonna keep a close eye on this bull pennant. If you've got you know investments in Palantir, highly recommend you do that as well. Um, see if we maybe get a little bit of a breakout. Um, I'm continuing to hold my shares, my leaps going out to 2022 and my leap going out to 2023. Um, because I do think Palantir has a good or, or great potential in the long term. So if it goes from here to, you know, kind of this gap fill potential, that's about a 34% return, right? 34% return, I'm talking on stocks, um, not options, um, even pretend greater potential on options. If it goes to $35, 48%, if it goes to 40, then 70% returns. That's why I hold Palantir, great potential ahead. Um, but yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what your thoughts on Palantir are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day, and until next time.